looking dry with sunshine. We'll see rain chances coming up Sunday, particularly Sunday evening. The wettest stretch of this five days is looking like it'll be Sunday night into Monday morning. That's when our next storm system moves in. So Viper radar is quiet. That's just some clutter that we're picking up on there. The showers that were around earlier, those pass by off to our east. And we're done with that risk tonight as high pressure moves in now. This will set us up for some sunshine on your Saturday before this storm system gets here. And that clouds us up as we go into our Sunday. So tomorrow, no weather concerns. Nice looking day. It's a warm one. We'll still be warm on Sunday as this low approaches. Clouds start building in and then those rain chances going up into the second half of the day. So we'll dive deeper into the timing here for tonight. All is quiet and our temperatures again uh, down around 50 degrees. I do think that a few spots will be able to drop into the upper. 40s, uh, much like the last few nights. Now for tomorrow, most of the day will feature lots of sunshine. There could be a few scattered clouds from time to time. Overall, I am expecting it to be a mostly sunny day as those highs jump to around 80. I think again for tomorrow's highs, we could do a few better than we're seeing here with temperatures in the low 80s for most of the area. Now tomorrow is also quiet, calm, and, cool. and then into Sunday morning, we start looking at those clouds filtering in. We'll still have a window for some sunshine at least early in the morning into the afternoon. Those temps climbing, uh, approaching mid 80s. And here comes that rain. As we get closer to sunset, we'll look for these showers moving in. Now, there may still be a little bit of dry air that we have to overcome at first. This could start off as a period where we're seeing the rain on radar and gloomy looking skies, but the showers not immediately reaching the ground. It wouldn't last long, though, because moisture will continue continue moving in, bringing us those showers overnight Sunday. Some of that lingers Monday morning into Monday afternoon. That rain starts to taper off a bit, and then this area of low pressure kind of hovers over the Great Lakes on Tuesday. That'll bring another push of uh, some moisture into the atmosphere, allowing for additional showers to develop Tuesday, especially the second half of the day and continuing Wednesday. So we're going to get a nice drink of water for the gardens. It's not going to make up for all of our deficits, but something that we certainly need quite a bit of. 49 degrees, clear skies tonight. Tomorrow, no concerns. If you have breakfast plans, we'll see our temperatures around 70 by 10 a.m. with lots of sunshine. This is looking like the best chance to get a pool day in this weekend. So take advantage of that if that's something that you're uh, have been looking for with the cooler temperatures to end our week and on Sunday it will still be warm but it's not sunny those clouds start moving in and showers and thunder into the uh, late afternoon and evening especially there Monday showers linger in the morning temps drop back to around 70 for highs we'll have that chance for showers on Tuesday and Wednesday staying cool and then temperatures start warming back up a little bit as we get to the end of next week